everyone and welcome back to my channel so yeah it's been a long time since I've uh, filmed a video so this should be fun so if you've clicked on this video I assume that you've been waiting quite a long time to hear about my pregnancy update and I am so sorry that it has taken so so long an update I'm gonna be honest with you guys I know I just wasn't feeling like filming a video I wasn't feeling it I it's not like I was sick anymore because I know I think in my last update I told you guys about how I had been really sick but about 17 weeks I actually went off my medication and I was not sick anymore I just I don't know I just felt like there was so much else I could be doing and I just didn't put YouTube as a priority. And now I've really, really been missing it and there's so much I wanna update you on. I missed my relationship with my YouTube friends. I'm really excited to be getting back into filming videos. So first things first, my hugest update is we found out the sex of our baby, of course. Uh, last time was 16 weeks and I'm now 33 weeks, which is insane. This whole pregnancy has just flown by. So, to announce, I know I should be doing this like crazy awesome announcement video, but I'm just gonna let you guys know because I feel like I've made you wait for so long, I can't make you wait for some creative, spunky, fun um, gender reveal. We are having a boy, yay! Caden is going to have another, another, he's going to have a brother, and it's just so exciting. I love having a little boy. I can't imagine what two little boys are going to get into. I'm going to have my hands full and I'm just, I'm excited guys. It's just very exciting. And I think Caden, once he realizes he's going to have a brother, is just going to be so excited. Do you want a brother? Hi. Hi. Do you want a brother? Yeah, why? Yeah, you want a brother. So what can I fill you guys in on? As for cravings this pregnancy, I haven't had any crazy cravings, except for I was craving sweets for quite a while, like candy and chocolate, I guess that's different. And then for a week or two, I had cravings for tomatoes. I know if you watched my pregnancy with Kaden, I also had a craving for tomato, I guess, based substances, like ketchup and pasta sauce and like all that type of stuff, ravioli, but this was actually a craving for just sliced tomatoes. Sliced tomatoes with salt, toasted tomato sandwiches, tomatoes in my salad. It was quite insane. But as for weight gain, as you guys know, I had lost a bunch of weight when I first got pregnant. So now I have only gained 15 pounds, but that's still a steady amount of growth. And if you know with Caden, I didn't gain a lot of weight. So yeah, as for weight gain, I have a steady amount of weight gain now that I'm not sick. It was just a slow progression to get up to that. I'm also experiencing um, heartburn this pregnancy. I don't know if it was as bad with Caden. I can't remember, but I actually do have to keep Tums at the side of my bed just because I can't fall asleep at night because no matter what I eat, even if I don't eat acidic things or I don't think they're acidic, I always get heartburn. So that has been something fun to deal with. I guess also I feel a lot more out of breath this pregnancy. I don't know, I just not I, at this very moment, but just doing nothing. I feel like I'm always out of breath and I can't catch my breath. I feel like I just don't have the lung capacity that I did before, but I do feel like I'm a lot bigger than I was with Caden, even though I don't have a crazy amount of weight gain. I feel like my stomach is a lot more out there and bigger than I was at this point with Kaden. Also a fun thing that I've gotten to deal with this pregnancy that I didn't experience with Kaden is eczema. Yay. I deal with eczema on a regular basis on my legs when it comes to this time of the season. I think it's just the pollen in the air and that type of stuff. I just have very sensitive skin on my legs, but it's never been this bad and I think it might just be because of my hormones. I actually had to be put on a prescription hydrocortisone cream because it was getting very itchy and irritated and I'm supposed to be in a wedding next week in a short dress, so I need to clear that up. I'm really hoping it clears Other up. Other than that, my most exciting thing this week, um, I got to meet with my OBGYN this week because I live in a smaller town I do and like my OBGYN is about an hour away 
which I know seems crazy. That means the hospital I deliver at is an hour away. So we meet with our family. Doctor is for as long as possible just to prevent so many trips, I guess, farther away. But I finally got to meet with her this week and kind of discuss my birth plan. I was super excited because she is totally on board with me trying for a VBAC this time. Yay! Because if you don't know, with my son, Caden, I did have a C-section. But she says I look like I'm a perfect candidate to have a VBAC. And we're just going to play it by ear. Now, if you don't know, Caden, we had some problems with fluid, but I was overdue. So they do want to monitor this baby, make sure it is growing at the rate it's supposed to be and that my fluid is maintaining itself, I guess like not depleting. As long as that doesn't happen and everything goes right, I should be able to have a VBAC. So I'm really excited because I never even experienced labor, which I know some people might think is crazy that I want to experience that. But C-sections aren't fun either and I'd rather try it the way that God says you're supposed to have kids, I guess. So that's really exciting. I do have an ultrasound next week, and then I'm also supposed to have another ultrasound, I guess, when I'm 38 weeks. Um, again, just to monitor the baby, make sure it's progressing, it doesn't start losing weight, because what they assume with Caden is he grew to a certain point, and then my fluid was depleted, or depleting, so he started losing weight, because Caden was overdue and only six pounds, seven ounces, they still do think this baby is going to be quite small. I'm measuring, I think I'm measuring at 31 weeks and I'm 33 as I said. So, which is not a problem. I might just have small babies, but they want to make sure it doesn't go to the point of starvation mode again, which I guess Caden went through. Oh, I'll show you my belly. I think it's grown quite a bit since the last time I showed you and don't mind, I'm in some awesome PJ Masks. I guess this isn't like the best background to show you against because I've obviously got the black couch and black shirt. I hope you guys can see I'm obviously very much bigger than I was last time. I that is my belly. I guess now you can see. I don't have any stretch marks as of yet except for like on my hips which I've always had. I guess those are a little bit worse than they were before. I can probably compare my other video but I'm happy I don't have any on my stomach. My belly button has not popped yet, but I feel like it might this pregnancy. It never did with Kaden. But as I said, I feel like I'm just a lot bigger than I was ever with Kaden. But yeah, I am so glad to be back at filming videos. I am so sorry that I didn't, and thank you for staying subscribed. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I usually do put out videos quite often, and I, Plan on being back in that atmosphere again. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.